On 7 Up Front tonight, the organization in Metro Detroit working to change lives by offering financial support for leaders who are African American. The CEO of Black Leaders Detroit recently rode a bike nearly 400 miles from Detroit to Mackinac to bring awareness to the disparis, uh, disparities experienced in the community. Joining me tonight to talk about his fundraiser is Dewan Dandridge, founder and CEO of Black Leaders Detroit. Mr. Dandridge, thanks for being there tonight. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Let's start with the inequity facing entrepreneurs, black-owned black businesses, and nonprofits. How significant is it? Yeah, I mean, I think that we're, we're in a time where there's a lot of attention being focused um, in response to um, the devastation the pandemic has caused. The, the problem is that there was uh, issues and disparities um, and the, the playing field wasn't balanced long before uh, the pandemic. I think the pandemic just shined a spotlight on something that was already existing. Uh, we actually launched in 2019 because we knew we were aware that there was a need there. Um, I think that, you know, we're just in a spe special time now where um, there's a chance for us to actually solve the problem because we have a lot more attention, a lot more uh, eyes on the issue. How do we solve the problem? Well, our approach to solving the problem is to respond by getting um, some access, some capital um, there for, for black entrepreneurs to be able to get access to. Um, we, our approach is um, providing access by way of a no interest loan, which we have actually received the blueprint uh, from Hebrew Free Loan. We re work really closely with the team over there and they've been doing a no interest loan uh, in the Jewish community for 126 years here in Southeastern Michigan. Uh, they've been kind enough to give us their blueprint. Uh, we're looking to roll out that no interest loan product in January of 2022. Uh, but up until then, uh, we're going to do what we started doing in April of last year. Uh, we'll continue to do that the rest of this year and provide grants, uh, emergency grants. We call it the, our Restore the Village Fund um, for for-profit business businesses that are suffering. We'll continue to do that uh, throughout the rest of this year. And there are many ways to fundraise, of course, uh, these days. But as I mentioned off the top, you chose to ride a bike to drive home your message. And it's my understanding you've got a heart condition as well. Clearly, the ride went well for you. How about the impact of that ride? Have you been able to reflect on the success of that to this point? Yes, I think that we've uh, experienced success in a, in a few different ways. Um, and I do have, have a heart condition that made it a little bit more challenging. But, you know, uh, my cardiologist uh, took a really close look, look at me um, beforehand and gave me the green light, as well as uh, my wife um, when it comes to that. And I think, you know, we've been able to raise some awareness, um, you know, people that are, are in the field of providing services for the black entrepreneurs, I think are there maybe a, a bit more aware uh, that Black Leaders Detroit is here. We have something to say. We have something to add uh, to the conversation. Um, but I say one of the things that, that, you know, me and my team experienced as we rode, um, you know, from Detroit to Mackinac and through, you know, um, I guess you would say counties, cities that have, uh, a very different demographic um, than, than what Detroit's make, makeup is. Uh, we experienced, we were well received um, by the people in, in some of those counties that we actually stayed overnight. Uh, we you know, got a chance to share our vision and our mission with people that um, probably have a different political uh, point of view and perspective than we do. Um, and we were just well received there. We had people dig into their pockets and donate to the cause, like on the spot, other people sign up uh, to donate that were from some of those communities. And if I was to be honest, you know, I def definitely had some reservations and some concerns. Uh, I, I would say similar to what people from outside of Detroit have when they're talking about riding through or coming to visit uh, Detroit. Um, but the people in some of those uh, cities and counties did, I think, what Detroiters often do for those that are, are visiting Detroit and really surprised us in a way that we had a positive reception um, and I, I was happy to have the narrative and the images that I have about some of those communities challenged um, personally. Yeah, excellent. Well, we're happy for that success uh, and for the fact that we were able to help spread some of the awareness of the, uh, of the effort of the mission here. Uh, Mr. Dandridge, we thank you for the time tonight. Thank you. Dewan Dandridge, CEO of uh, this organization, Black Leaders Detroit.